Hello everyone, this is Isan, Head of Research at OpenBB. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to prepare for earnings calls faster and effectively using AI on OpenBB. I'm going to use a mini app I built that you can see it on the screen. So here we go. When you click on it, it's going to take you to this dashboard. And we're going to demo it with three goals in mind. First, you want to be able to quickly catch up on the latest developments and talking points about a stock ahead of his earnings announcement. So in this demo, we're going to be focusing on Boeing. Second, you want to be able to quickly identify and summarize management guidance from file documents and transcripts. So in this dashboard, I have the earnings transcripts and the filings and everything is grouped on the period. So if I change this to a previous period, let's say uh, everything is going to update. So let's just focus on uh, the Q4 for the time being on the screen. And finally, analyze executives tone, confidence and clarity. We have partnered with Marcus EQ, a very unique data vendor in advanced sentiment analytics to achieve this. And who better to explain this partnership than Market EQ's own CEO? So let's hear it from Sean directly. Hi, I'm Sean Austin, co-founder of Market CQ, and I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of why we are who we are and how we provide immediate feedback for communications across some pretty important financial moments. Those from earnings calls, conferences, investor days, important shareholder emails, all of that is in our ethos of what matters to corporate issuers, as well as the asset management world. Earnings calls are where we came from, actually started the category of voice analytics commercially about five years ago. Uh, that's something that has now started getting proliferation in the space, similar to natural language processing. Think about if you listen to a call, how important it is that you understand the speech, the nuances of voice, which come from when you get asked hard questions and you maybe don't know the results or you don't want to have as much uh, conviction in the way you speak. Word choice is important just as much as your conviction, your confidence, the way you come across, and the how of speech. What we want to uncover are insights from that data, so you don't need to be a data scientist to get the ultimate understanding. Instead, use the power of a quantitative-backed data system, but the unique and flexible properties of large language models and an environment like OpenBB to unlock more understanding and really unlock more insights into what's possible. This is one of the most important bleeding edge pieces of understanding and alternative data in earnings call analyses. And we're excited that you can take a look at it. So in this demo, I'm going to focus on Boeing as my example. They announced earnings on Wednesday, April 23rd before market opened, and they hit their call during market hours. My goal now is to quickly get up to speed on important topics ahead of this call. So let's go to our co-pilot panel. You can connect any copilot that you would like. So I'm going to be using the OpenBB copilot, which under the, which can use perplexity API to do web search. You can just basically follow the examples here to bring any copilot to OpenBB. I've also engineered my prompts ahead of time because these are common questions that keep coming at an earnings call. So instead of writing everything from scratch, you can just basically create your a prompt library and pull things on the fly as needed. So I'm going to ask at web, what are the key topics on Boeing? And I'll give you a couple of examples, but I want the copilot to organize the topics at the end of the day. So here we go. Like we have supply chain issues, some discussion around deliveries, uh, China tariffs and so on and so forth. Let's just say that make a table with the titles only in this, right? Excellent. So let's just add this piece table. Uh, as a widget because it's going to keep coming up. Uh, so let's just say topic for earnings. Okay. And here we are. So now we got this widget here. Next up, let's look for forward-looking statements and guidance in the 8K. So if you're familiar with it, this document comes out first. It's typically ahead of the earnings call with the analyst. So it gives a quick read and they file this before market opens. So it's, it's a pretty time sensitive document. So adding this to the context, and again, I prepared my prompt ahead of time. I want to identify and summarize statements with management guidance, any forward-looking statements from this 8K. And we have already identified which topics to go after. So I just want to give, like, you know, assign everything into one of these topics. You can assign multiple topics if you would like. Let's send it. So the copilot is going to give us an audit trail and a plan next. 
So it's accessing this widget, um, 8K widget for the first quarter filed as of this date. So it looks like there's substantial discussion of expectations around production and deliveries, obviously the financial performance. Um, but one thing that looks kind of curious from out of here is that they actually haven't touched the topic of China, uh, according to our, our summary. So China tariff war doesn't seem to be a subject that they develop on too much. So let's see if this became an important topic of discussion in the transcript and what do analysts ask and what kind of guidance that we can get from the transcript directly. For a transcript analysis, I added to context and I started a new chat and it's the same prompt that I was using before, but I edited this a little bit um, because the transcript is a little different beast than the 8K. So here. I again want the forward-looking statements with management guidance. I want every sentence to be assigned to at least one topic from this list that I get from perplexity. This time, I also want to know who the speaker is because I'm going to later use the speaker and the sentence to find the emotional scores based on that information. So let's send this and see what we got. Okay. So this is going to be hard to read from the chat panel. I'm going to edit to my dashboard. You see the transcript guidance is substantially longer because they've been asked questions about a whole bunch of things that they haven't fully addressed in the 8K. So in particular, um, the ones that I find more quite interesting for the purposes of this demo is that there's discussion around tariffs and trade quite a bit, right? So tariff situation mentioned, they had questions around the you know tariff environment that impact to their plan, answer to the data on the delivery, China specifically mentioned they have 50 China deliveries. Um, they use a generally neutral language around these things. It's an unfortunate situation and so on and so forth. Like this happened in the transcript. So now they're saying these statements. The next thing is I'm going to see based on markets EQ data, what is the tone that you pick up from the audio that you cannot pick up from the text. First, let's add this to our dashboard as a new widget. It will be easier to read and also filter for different types of topics. So I'm going to give you two examples here. First, 8K had a lot of discussion around the deliveries and production and so on. So let's look for the production topic. And uh, I was in particularly interested in the statement that and they also had in the 8K around the magical 38 number. So they're producing in the low 30s and they expect that they want to get to 38. So the language, according to text, is rather neutral, right? But let's actually use the audio analysis from Market CQ if we can get a little bit more color on it. So here's what I did here. So I loaded the data from Market CQ. It's the same transcript, except that we actually need to look for the statement here. So I simply just type part of that sentence to identify it so I can get the relevant scores. Um, so here, Market CQ are, are going to give a score for emotions such as happy, neutral, angry, and sad. They will also provide some emotional categories such as arousal, dominance, and valence. So first, I just wanted to understand if I'm interpreting these concepts correctly and how to make sense of the scores. So let's just create a new chat. Um, I think I already did this here. So I have their research document um, in my context here. And I asked this question to their research based on Marcus EQ's own research. And here it is. How do I interpret these um, emotions and how do I read these scores? Do they add up to something and so on? So these scores add up to these four scores is supposed to add up to one and arousal, valence, and dominance. Um, they're basically some number between minus one and um, one. And this is how I should think about the interpretation. So now that we have some context behind these scores, let's take these numbers. So I'm just going to copy paste it directly in here, since this is an example, I'm not trying to do this very systematically. Let's copy with the headers and I'm going to ask Copilot to help me write a description of the emotions they detected from, for this guidance. According to the audio, it's actually not that neutral. It's actually relatively optimistic. 
And then it suggests that some low level of excitement, some control and influence, essentially a modest and positive sentiment when they actually say it. It reads like just a pure iteration of the expectation around production, but the way that it is delivered is actually slightly positive. Like this is something that markets EQ can tell you that you can't really pick up from the text directly. Now let's do a different type of example. So previously I was going over every guidance statement by statement and check if the audio tone matches the guidance that they've actually provided, see if there's a misalignment. That's going to be pretty exhaustive. Another approach is actually do it in reverse. You can rely on what markets IQ insight support says about where they find some misalignment in the tone and the written language. Let's just edit the context and I want to get a summary along these lines. So I want all the misalignments mapped into some topic. So I'm using the same topics that we were using. I don't want it to create a new topic. You can assign the air sentences in which there's a misalignment into multiple topics and let's get it by speaker and sentence. So notice that most of the misalignments are actually on the subject of tariffs, trade, and China. The input tariffs occurred in the first quarter are not material, but then there's a negative tone when they say these type of things. It's an unfortunate situation in the context of China refusing some deliveries. China again, China again, tariffs and trade. So you can kind of see the pattern here. Remember that in 8K, they didn't touch the subject. In the transcript, this came up quite a few times. And according to the audio analysis, the tone is significantly more negative than the statements that they actually have. So this could be concerning for the stock that the management might be understating the potential long-term impact of issues surrounding the tariff war, the trade and the, and the demand in China. Now let's conclude our demo by looking at some price action. So I'm going to pull up historical price data from financial modeling prep. Let's type in the ticker. I asked the co-pilot to compute this essentially from 22nd to 23rd, the stock actually jumped around 26%, but intraday there was actually a slight decline. So remember the announcement came before the market opened. So there was actually a much bigger jump and throughout the day it, it declined a little bit. And as of the recording of this video, the stock is still up. So I hope you enjoyed this video.